Frank Kern uh, has actually um, done m a lot of testing, finding out that the best location, John Reese has done this also, uh, Yannick uh, Silver has also done this. If you put the opt-in box right here in the top right corner, you have a higher chance of uh, conversion of the people to opt in. So that's better that way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that up here. Okay, um, as far as doing, let's go and save it. Fonts and colors. Let's go ahead and mess with this. Okay, so now you can see down here at the bottom, you can scroll through it a little bit. It's not too easy to see, but it gives you an idea of what you're working with. All right, so right here you have page background color, which is the background here, all the black in the back. You can change it to whatever you want, but again, we're leaving it black. Uh, text color is going to be not what you see there, but down what you would put inside of your your post. When you post something like right here, subscribe, subscribe to, it'll be that color, but all throughout your, your links. It'll stick out a lot, and it sounds kind of weird from a guy saying this, but if it's in a pink color, or like a lighter color, even like lighter green or something, it sticks out. Look at that. It'll just pop out on your page. So when you have that, it it doesn't actually look, you know, I apologize for saying this, but it doesn't look too girly even for a guy to have this on there because it sticks out like a sore thumb, But uh, which is good. But if you choose to have lighter color, like, you know, say gray, you could do that too. It's it's all up to you because that will it'll still be there, but it kind of it's a softer tone. It doesn't just jump out at you. So it depends on what you want your blog to look like. Um, you do link colors, the blog title right here. You can make it like this. Do the blog color, um, make it pop out. Let's do like bright blue. Let's see. Okay. Uh, you think you get the idea of how all that those colors work sidebar sidebar is the side over here all the like the video stuff and editing things and your whole drop down menu of the categories on like uh, months and weeks days days all that so your files over there getting this color if you choose to change it uh, you all also have the options if you go down further is doing like the font on your text so let's work with see blog title let's go ahead and mess that since we could see it right here if you click on there you could do which is on tree bucket round or tree boucher tree boucher georgia you can see how it changes as you click on aerial courier times randa uh, you can actually smaller or larger it will do it as you click it see and so if you look at it it's large just like that for extreme software and you can do it italic, non, bold or not. So let's go ahead and leave it like that. And I'm going to do see a blog description. Let's see what happens in here. We don't have a blog description on there. It's, it's empty. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that one like that. And then we can go with, uh, let's see. Hmm. Text font sidebar. Blog title. Link text page background. Okay. So let's go ahead and save the changes. It's good to save more than enough times instead of instead of accidentally forgetting getting and uh, clicking to a different page and everything you just worked on is lost. So it's a good habit to get into when you do change one or even two things, go right away and click on save just to be sure. Even if you think you didn't see it, click it again to make sure it did it. You can view it after that and double check. So that's what it looks like. It's a little bit brighter now. And let's go and go to, let's see, I'm going to do like a posting. If you did a posting and you wanted to throw in a video or um, some, say a picture, you can add an image by clicking this right here. And you would actually place it 
wherever you want it. So if I wanted to put a picture in here, all I got to do is if I had a picture on my, my computer I wanted to put up here, click on browse and go to let's see. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Okay, and then you click upload image. And just wait a second. There it is. Okay, there's the code. You don't want to mess with the code or it'll mess it all up. When you decide to start writing, you can actually preview it. So it looks like that. <laughs> Okay, uh, hide preview is how to get back. When you start um, typing, here, right over here, go down a couple times, and then you, and then you could say, um, apologize about that, but, because I'm thinking. Okay, I like my typing skills. <laughs> Alright, so preview, there you go. Alright, and if we do publish plus, so go directly to the blog and you can actually see it. Like that. If you want to, let's go ahead and go back to edit post, so we're back on the same spot. If you want to edit it, the one we just did, click edit, not the box, but edit. And you're there. You can take that off if you want. Um, right here, is adding a video. I have some videos on there, but you basically do the same thing. You just upload it from your computer, browsing, and going into wherever you may have your video placed at. Uh, once you find out what you want, you place it in that spot and click open. And once it goes in, you scroll down and title your video. Agree to the terms because they're basically telling you you can't have. Um, any any uh, any sexual content, uh, you know, any basically, you you, you get my my point. You, you have to watch what you put on there. You don't want any kind of uh, derogatory statements, stuff like that, in your videos. So, upload the video, and it will put it all in here. You want to publish it. You save it as a draft if you want to work with it more, but it's easier to just publish it because once it's published, it means it saved it too, and. In fact, let's save it so we can move on and publish it and go back. You can go to edit posts. Um, then if you would like to put something below that or even put a new post, just click put new post. Uh, title, say random. Um, put a little jibber jabber like this just so we can see what happens when we or where it'll pop up when we actually submit it and then publish it. So now when you look at your blog, the area that will locate is right on top.